Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. In this channel, we are trying to answer questions from users like you, because I do believe if one user has a question, there is a chance that a second, a fifth or hundred users have the same question. And I try my best to answer those where I can. So in today's video, we will take a look at my YouTube channel, go over the 10 most recent questions and try to give you a high level answer to those. And you let me know in the comments below which other topics you would like to see soon on my channel. Alright, as mentioned in the intro, we will go now over the 10 most recent comments on the ePlan Essentials YouTube channel. The first one was here by Mr. Tan, where he cannot see the drilling view when he creates his own mounting panel or his own enclosure. This is a very common issue which customers have and it's most likely due to missing field size. So if you are in ePlan, and you placed your enclosure and the components and you click on drilling view and you cannot see the drilling cutouts, then please make sure that you have the field size defined. The field size can be defined by going on the mounting surface, clicking right mouse click and defining field size, right? So if the lines are green, then the field size is defined. If the lines are red, it's missing your definition. So that was the first question. Let's go to the second one here. Uh, Mr. Guitar Mafia is struggling with the power dissipation showed in this video. Uh, he mentions that he created a cabinet from scratch. Maybe he's missing something. My recommendation would be, please make sure that the definition of your enclosure is in the same definition as the retail enclosures. So if you are under master data management, please make sure that your enclosure is also in the same group and that you have the definitions done. Like for instance, the function template is also defined as enclosure. If it don't work out and you press on tools and select it here, calculation, total power dissipation and have the checkbox active and you still don't see it, uh, please send me the project on LinkedIn and I'm happy to take a look into it. The next question here is by Mr. Mustafa, uh, who is struggling with the wiring from the door to the panel. In general, in ePlan, when you connect between two surfaces, you need to make sure to have a full a routing path network or a connected routing path network, especially tricky when connecting the routing path network between the door and the mounting panel can be the placement of the routing path network on the door. So if we take a look here, just on the door, Right, so you see I've connected the routing path from the door to the mounting panel, which will be done here. Obviously, the components here are placed on the mounting surface door outside. And so we need on the door inside the routing path network to connect it with the mounting panel in order to have a proper wiring. What is very tricky is that if you have doors that you sometimes have not just door outside and door inside, but the profile level door, which is on the inside of the door about five millimeters above. And if you place here on the profile level door, the routing path network, instead of the door inside, uh, ePlan will not be able to create a, a complete routing path network or a proper routing. So that's this question. Let's go to the to the next question here. Question number four is by Mr. Andre, uh, who is asking, is it possible to assign specific terminals who uh, you want to count the quantity in the project. This is re regarding the wire end terminations. This is a very good question. I have not tried it by my own, but I would recommend you to try following. If you select the enclosure, for instance, and then go to file, file export, wire fabrication, 
And here you have the possibility to export a wire parts list. And if you take a look, for instance, on the scheme, on the free dot button, you will see the conductor termination processing, which results then in machine commands. And those machine commands can be, for instance, your wire end terminations, which you would like to count. And then you could create a CSV file in which you will see all the wires with the wire end terminations. And by Excel mechanics, you will be able to summarize and count the specific ones. So that will be my recommendation for this question. Uh, the next question is by Mr. Farhad here. He's missing a green pad under the enclosure. So uh, with this green pad is probably by the definition of the placement area for enclosures and for all macros which you create. It's very important that you use the right type of projects for it, right? So there are two types of project in ePlan. If we click here on the file, <clears throat> on the properties, we will see if I go here to all categories, and now I, we just need to find type of project. So there are two types of projects. In general, there is a schematic project used for the most engineering designs, and there is a macro project used for the specific case of the uh, macro creation. There are some differences in the one which is here obvious. You will receive the green surface under the uh, placement area and uh, there, are, there are more functionalities, but this will answer the question of Mr. Farhad. I don't understand this, but I appreciate the heart. I appreciate the feedback from Mr. Marco here. The next question, which will be probably question number six, is I'm trying to import an enclosure and mounting panel. I'm having trouble getting the mounting panel to sit correctly in the enclosure on the standoffs. Can you make a video for that? I can make a video for that. If you guys choose to, please comment in the uh, comment section below uh, what's important for you. In general, um, just to go very quick over this, if you place components uh, on another component. So wherever you have a parent-child principle, it works always the same or very, very similar that the accessory which you place has a, a handle point. And this is placed on a relative point of the, on the main component. This can be typically when we speak about electrical components, mounting surfaces, mounting points or mounting grids. Uh, when we speak about mechanical components, then even base points, which are very similar to mounting points, but have additional functionalities, right? So in this case, it's very important that uh, where you would like to place the mounting panel, that you have a proper corresponding base point uh, defined. So the next question here will be, is it possible to create an enclosure from scratch 2D to 3D in ePlan Pro Panel? I am not sure if I understand it 100%, but in general, we will need to understand that ePlan Pro Panel works in 3D. We don't have any 3D design engines in our software, regardless in P8 or in, or in Pro Panel. So you're typically utilizing 3D information uh, created by other mechanical softwares and you're importing step files. And then we are doing this interpretation, uh, which we already discussed in uh, the video. I'll blend it now in. So the next question here will be, how can I join two mounting plates in ProPanel? It's essentially the same methodology which I just described with a parent-child component. So that means the handle point of the second mounting plate needs to be aligned with a mounting point or a base point of the first component. And then I think the last question here will be the 10th question. Does ePlan Pro Panel support cuttable pin bars like the Siemens 5ST3702? This bus bar comes in a max length, which is obviously the delivery length, but it's adjustable in the increments, right? So this is a very, very interesting question. There are multiple ways of do this. Just if we take a look how this pinned bus bar look like. So can I open this? 
here right obviously like this so and we can cut this in increments for the circle breaker as needed my recommendation will be here if you have the uh, various 3d step files already create multiple macros right and assign it to the components or create multiple components with one macro but i will create multiple macro variants and then when you insert it rotate with the tab button to the right one so this will wrap up now the 10 questions of the q a please let me know in the comments below how you liked it and which other questions you would like to see next on my channel